at a dance in Eugene and I found this book on the altar and I felt like I needed to make this video and share this book with you. One, Louise Hay is amazing and she's got the most amazing books and I listen to her audiobooks a lot and she's got this book called Heal Your Body and another incredible book called Heal Your Life and they're kind of along the same line. Basically they're the message that we can self-heal through our mind and through our own thoughts and what, how we you know, put the nutrition into our bodies. So I just wanted to read you a couple things because I think this is really profound and I would really highly recommend every single person read this book and read Heal Your Life. They're so amazing and so transformative and so empowering. I think that's what it's really about. These books are really empowering and let you know that you have the power to heal your body naturally and you can take this power back from the doctors. This is about you and you taking the power. So. It basically says that this little book does not heal anyone. It does awaken within you the ability to contribute to your own healing process. For us to become whole and healthy, we must balance the body, the mind, and the spirit. We need to take good care of our bodies, we need to have a positive mental attitude about ourselves and about our life, and we need to have a strong spiritual connection. When these three things are balanced, we can rejoice in living. No doctor, no health practitioner can give us this unless we choose to take part in our own healing process. And Louise Hay had a cancer scare that she writes about and um, just listening to it on her audiobook is really profound as well. But she healed it naturally and this is some stuff that she's writing about it that I just want to share with you and it says that you know when she was told she had cancer she obviously went into total panic and yet knew that mental healing worked. So being aware that cancer comes from a pattern of deep resentment that is held for a long time until it literally eats away at the body, she knew she had a lot of mental work to do. So she realized that she just an operation to get rid of the cancer would not clear the mental pattern that created it. So um, the doctors would just keep cutting away at her until there was nothing left, yet the pattern could still be recreated because she hadn't shifted anything in her mind. So um, what she's writing here is that cancer or any illness returns. It is not because the doctor didn't get it all out, it's because the patient didn't change the mental pattern that comes with that illness. And so um, we can recreate that illness. I also, she says that she knew that she could clear the mental pattern that created the condition called cancer and she wouldn't need a doctor. So what was amazing is, is that she basically began to do um, mental work right away with her own teacher as well as she says that she looked at all the harbored deep resentment that she had, all the anger, the frustration, the unforgiveness, the resentment, that's all mental patterns. And she did a lot of forgiveness work and I think forgiveness is really the key to a lot of healing is if we can let go of the resentments and the anger that we have towards people which is actually poisoning our own bodies rather than the person that we're angry at, then healing can happen. And so um, she also found a really good nutritionist and completely detoxified her body. So. That's, you know, getting on the Green Smoothie Gangster Challenge, but also if you've got cancer, you want to go even more detoxifying than that. You want to go green juices and you want to really shift your diet and really shift some stuff. And I have a lot of information about that on my website, greensmoothiegangster.com, because my mom passed away of cancer. And so I have a lot of information about detoxifying the body. And there are healing centers that are doing that all over the world. And... Um, I can do coaching with you and help you and transition you and give you an, as much information to empower you in this process if you need that or if you know of anyone that needs that because, you know, when my mom was diagnosed with cancer, it was frantic. It literally was us searching for every information we could find, listening to things, reading the books, you know, doing everything in our power to find this information. and. When you're in that panic type of state, it can feel really scary. And so I have sourced a lot of information and I have a lot of information because I made it my life's mission to find out how we can heal cancer naturally and how we can really prevent cancer and never get it. So um, anyways, this book is fabulous. It's definitely on the list and I do have it on the website. I have her work. Um, then she also talks about that she did a lot of mental and physical cleansing. So she was able to basically heal her cancer naturally and knows that basically what she says here is, is that now when a client comes to me, no matter how dire their predicament may seem, I know if they are willing to do the mental work of releasing and forgiving, 
almost anything can be healed. The word incurable, which is so frightening to so many people, really only means that the particular condition cannot be cured by outer methods and that we must go within to affect the healing. The condition came from nothing and will go back to nothing. So I hope this video has empowered you to know that you can heal your body and you can heal your life. And I have my own experience that I'll talk about when I had a bit of a cancer scare and knew that intuitively I knew that I could combat it and I knew that I could heal it. And I knew that it was about my mind being in charge and me being as empowered and as cleansed as possible. I grew a lot of wheatgrass and I did a lot of detoxing as well. So I hope this inspires you and have a beautiful day.